All right, so imagine looking up in the sky and seeing this for real. Oh, my gosh, it happened just the other day. It's the result of something being called mind-bogglingly gorgeous. <laughs> Our Josh Les is here uh, with the story behind yeah, this. It is pretty amazing. It almost looks so amazing that it's fake. Well, I know. This actually looks fake, and yes. we're going to lead to the brand-new video that NASA gave me. But uh, let me give you the story behind okay. this, because this, this is an aurora. But it begins, the story, this amazing image begins with the sun. So let's go to the sun. Here's what all this right. is. It all begins with a solar flare. So basically, what we have here from NASA, this is so unusual to have a shot like that. Look at that. Wow. The sun basically pushed out this mass of plasma that's huge. And as you watch that bit that goes out, I want everyone to understand how massive it is. NASA tells me this. It's called a coronal mass mass ejection 30 times the width of Earth. After that, that solar ejection goes flying through the sky, what happens is it can take a few different paths. And sometimes it can take a few days. And in this case, it took three days before it got into the area where Earth is. And our Earth can reject it, can push it back. And when the Earth mixes with that solar flare, what you get is those amazing colors. Wow. Right? So our magnetic field Beautiful. matches it. And this right here, brand new, NASA sent I mean, this These are incredible to me. images. Brand new. No one's seen these before. These are from NASA. And what we're seeing here is four different views of the sun having that moment when that solar flare happens. And the reason it's so important is people want to know, our scientists want to understand it, because these can have a huge impact on Earth. By the way, it's the register in Britain that called this mind-bogglingly gorgeous, mm -hmm. which it kind of <laughs> is. And I want everyone to understand how important this is. So here's a little clip from a NASA scientist explaining how critical this is. And this is billions of tons of material moving at millions of miles an hour. And when those events are directed towards us, they can impact the Earth, they can cause aurora, they can cause technological disturbances, problems with power grids, communication. So fortunately, we have this really amazing, never-before-seen imagery that allows us to study these events in, in great detail. So thanks to Alex Young for that. And these pictures are from a photographer named David Cartier, who was in, uh, along the Yukon River in Canada, mm. happened to be out there, captured these pictures. And he tells me each shot is about five to ten seconds worth of what he saw. So it really did look like this to him. And I was going to say, it really does look like this by the naked eye. Mm -hmm. It's not that the result of his film or right. his you know, digital imagery I, that right. it... I asked it him, I said, these colors. I was wondering, like, did you do something to take an hour to look like this? He said, no, the exposure was just what? five to ten seconds on each one.